Let's create an example now of a wiki that could be used individually between you and one student. Let's create a wiki called Let's Work on Our Term Paper. This wiki will be used between the teacher and the student to fine-tune a term paper before it's turned in. It's kind of a working draft area between a student and an instructor. First, I've got to give the student good instructions for how to use the wiki, based on my prior knowledge. The first time you set up a wiki, you won't know exactly what to put here, but you can revisit this field later to add more instructions. Note the last phrase in my instructions. I will gradually edit and make comments on your paper. You can compare the differences in the History tab. This is a feature I'm going to showcase later in the tutorial that's especially effective when you're working with a student to make revisions. Students working in a group on a project together can also leverage this for efficiency in seeing the differences as students edit the project. Scroll down the page and make your first wiki settings. Give the first page a name, such as My First Draft. The wiki mode I'm going to choose is Individual Wiki. I'm also going to choose the HTML format, as that will give my students the most flexibility in formatting their paper. I'm going to force this format so that the page uses HTML no matter what. Click Save and Display. Now, the individual wiki mode in Moodle means that every student gets their own wiki to edit. So, the first student may paste in their draft here. When they save the page, this becomes the first version of this wiki page. Here is their essay. As the teacher, I can come in and click the Edit tab and make suggestions for how they can improve their paper. I could delete a section of the paper and make suggestions for a replacement sentence or correct minor things like spelling and grammar. Now we have a second version that my student can look through. Take a look. Switching to the History tab means that I can browse all versions of the document. I see which user made the first version and which user made the second. In a real case scenario, the first would be the student and the second would be the teacher. Every time someone makes a change, a new version will be added to this list. The top two versions will always be selected in the Difference column, or the Diff column. Whichever two versions are selected in the Diff column will be compared when we click the button for Compare Selected. Both versions will be placed side by side. On the left, a student can see what I completely deleted from the first paragraph and what I added. This is especially useful in a case like this, where the teacher is helping the student to revise before they would submit their essay. If I wanted to make general comments on the paper, I don't have to put them in line and risk that the student thinks they should be a part of the final paper. I can come up to the top and click the Comments tab. The Comments area is a nice way to segregate things that are discussion rather than actual content. If I add a comment, the student will see it in the Comments tab. Dropping down the Choose menu in the middle of the page will allow you to switch between the different wikis by your different students. Remember, every student has their own wiki page, so this menu is a nice shortcut for the instructor to jump between students. If I switch to Jane Moodler's wiki, one of the students in my class, note that there's nothing in there yet. That's just one example of how an individual wiki can enhance the writing and rewriting process for a student. Check out the other tutorial on collaborative wikis to see some of these other features in action for group work.